It's starting to take form, but still a lot to do. Putting some uh, edging on, which is about three-eighths of an inch uh, walnut strips. So let's start. Okay. We'll add the final two strips at the bottom Hello Joey. Hello supervisor. Are you doing okay? Come on. Come on, see? Come. Come. Yeah, here. Come. Come. Yeah, come. So. <laughs> what do you think? Everything okay? Looks good? Nice work, okay? Okay, <laughs> though. You got a bad day, eh? Yeah, you got a bad day. Okay. All right. Okay. And then still a lot of sanding. The one but the last thing to do is to finish the bed. Um, and that's uh, mostly some sanding from 80 grit to 120 and 220. And then when that's done, put a layer of tongue oil on it, as well as in following days, because the case has to dry in between, uh, some one or two layers of uh, shellac. Uh, but I'll start with the sanding first. Finally, it comes down to some hand sanding, and that's more or less these edges. Go over all these edges uh, until it's done. Next step is uh, using some, at least that's what I do, I use some paint thinner to clean it up. Really. Remove all the dust. It also gives you a nice preview of the colors because it highlights the colors of the wood. I'll be using some tongue oil and just have it penetrate the wood a bit. Uh, I have to let it dry for a day. So, and I probably have to use a couple of layers to get the right sheen on it, so... What I'll do is I'll use some very fine steel wool and then I'll apply my first layer of uh, shellac
I have my fr front passenger seat permanently turned around to the inside uh, always in the furthest position to the back I can easily change that over if I have a passenger but I seldom or never have, have a passenger so that's fine with me what I did is in the existing holes I didn't have to drill any holes everything is uh, the way it was put some bolts in there connected them to the bottom uh, that not is not really necessary but it makes it easier to install then I have my newly finished bed, dog bed travel bed or there it goes cut these bolts off at the right height uh, with a bolt on so by turning uh, getting by getting the bolt off the thread came back sufficiently at least I hope find this sufficient now I have still have a lock nut that I put on top of it then I got a second one in the rear okay that's rock solid of course it still has to come in a foam pad as well as a cover for that I'll be working on that in the next couple of weeks looking right into the sun uh, besides the bed it will still add a little bit of storage room that is uh, really nicely covered so uh, whenever I'm traveling it's not uh, it doesn't really show that much so I still got some uh, some storage here uh, I'll have to find a use for that too okie doke <laughs> oh boy <laughs> I first have to get a mattress because it's too slippery on it and we'll see how it works out it'll be a battle eh? yeah it'll be a battle I got the pop-in lock on the left side of the bed uh, but just for security I wanted to have another stop at the right side of the bed as well a pop-in doesn't work there for several reasons and I have been looking at different solutions that could have been simpler uh, what I came to is a just a stop that I connect to the side wall and keep it in front of the bed so whenever the bed is up put the pop-in in and then go to the right side of the bed put this in the right side and that keeps the bed from opening up as well uh, so what I did is I got a couple of pieces of wood so this has a bolt in it with a flat head and that goes in here so it doesn't turn around um, that goes through the side wall then a washer and then the knob and that turns it against the side wall so it doesn't turn uh, this block will be glued together so the, the entire stop will be this big and for even more security got a little piece over here that will be glued in there as well and I'll have to cut that to size but that's the main main idea so first I'll glue this up this hasn't that much glue surface but in combination with the third piece that will hopefully keep everything good together so let this dry half an hour and then I'll come back for the third piece Oh, 
I'll be uh, sending this off a little bit to make everything uh, smooth. What I'll do for decoration is probably cut off an angle at one end and then cover it with uh, formica. Okay, so probably the rest of the day I'll be busy putting for mic on this thing. That's good. Okay. I've got the other bed lock on the right side of the bed. Finished that a couple of days ago. Um, but I still have to do one little thing or two little things. Um, this is the area that goes against the bed to keep the bed in place uh, and just to avoid scratches or so. I use some uh, drawer liner, some rubber liner cut that to size and I glue this up and the same thing is the part that goes in the side wall I'll put some over there as well just to avoid scratches and if that's okay let's hope that that works That looks fine. So I indicated where the hole has to come. So now I'll drill a pilot hole. Now I can drill from the other side. So after I would lock the bed on the left hand side, it would come here, push it in, put a washer on top of it, And that's the whole side log. And that'll be covered by the curtains. Hi guys, this is Joey and we're building a one-of-a-kind RV. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. If you enjoyed the video, give us a like and subscribe. Or better yet, uh, leave a comment. Thanks guys. Doing a good job.